Well, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. A happy worker, a productive worker. Times are changing in our workforce. Technology, I think, is making certain jobs a lot easier. And it's creating new job roles as well. But unusually, it's also creating more demand for skills that cannot be done by machines driving the Zen trend. That's right. So that means we have an entire generation who look at jobs differently and think twice about where they'd like to work. It's calculated that millennials will make up 50% of the workforce by 2020 and this new generation of workers value a lot more than just a paycheck at the end of the month. When looking for a job nowadays, the aspects that people look for have changed a bit. I think the, the younger generations look for different things in jobs to what the older people did. Obviously salary and benefits is still the most important because you need money to live on. But they're looking for other things. Well, they want to go to a place where they're going to get training and development, where there's going to be some kind of career path for them. And they want to be able to use their own devices, their, their own laptops and smartphones and tablets. And then people want, to, want some balance in their lives. They don't want to slave away at the office all day, every day. Those are the sort of things people look for, I think. The nature of work has changed and the nature of people have changed. Nowadays, if you have on your CV that you've been at one organisation for longer than 10 or 15 years, people want to know what's wrong with you. And it has to do with, with, with what people are looking for in jobs. They're looking for advancement, they're looking for, for development, so they are, are moving on. They're moving to a place where they see their better opportunities. The other side of that, of course, is that you shouldn't be job hopping. So you shouldn't go to an organisation, stay there for a year and then move on because some other organisation has offered you a higher salary because that is still regarded as, as not desirable in a worker. Along with training and growth, studies are also showing that millennial employees are happier and more productive with freedom over where, when and how they work. Well, I think if you feel you have to tell your employer that you're working too hard and you need a break, then you're probably in the wrong job or you're the wrong person for the job. And you won't be happy unless you're completing the tasks you do. I think those people who complain that are too tired, that are not coping with the work, are the ones that are not enjoying the work that they're doing and they're probably in the wrong job. Everyone's looking for balance in their, in their lives, in their working lives, but I think that the term balance is sometimes misinterpreted. If you need to answer emails at 7 o'clock or 8 o'clock at night, that's fine. But if you need to go and, take and, and watch your child play football on a, on a Tuesday afternoon, that's also fine. So it's not a case of balancing so many hours of work with so many hours of so-called life. It's a matter of doing your job to the best of your ability, being successful and productive, but at the same time doing the other things which are important to you as well. Maya Angelou said, making a living isn't the same as making a life. And considering the influence of a new generation, this philosophy may be the new mantra in businesses around the world. Oh man, some very interesting discussion points coming out of that. When do we ask our boss for a job? What's the best way to go about it? Maybe you want to give us some um, insights and weigh in on that discussion. Let us know on social media. You can head on over to our Expresso Facebook page or on Twitter at Expresso Show. And don't forget to use that hashtag, Expresso Show.